Hello, Algebra 2. Today we'll be working on MCA review. So we're heading back to some geometry topics. The first thing we're going to need to do is set up our calculator. So you're going to want to open up either your online calculator or your handheld calculator. And we are going to want to make sure that it's in degree mode. So we're going to hit mode, which is right next to second. And then if you go down a couple, you'll head to Radian, we want to change that to degree because we'll be telling our calculator angles in degrees. So we're going to hit that and then that's going to change it to degree, degree mode. And if you have one of these newer calculators, you should see it change to degree. So we have two teacher led problems that are going to use this um, calculator. We'll head back to our calculator here in a second. So we're going to use trigonometry and angles of right triangles to find missing sides. So we're going to head here to problem one. We're going to find x and round to the nearest tenth. So in right triangles, we have ratios of sides. We have a, a sine ratio, which is your opposite over hypotenuse, cosine ratio, adjacent over hypotenuse, and then tangent is your opposite over adjacent. And this acronym, SOHCAHTOA, can help us remember that. So the first thing we do is we're going to circle our angle. So this is how we're looking at the triangle. After you circle your ang angle, you're going to find the hypotenuse, which is this side with X. Then find our adjacent, which adjacent means next to. That's right next to my angle, which would be this leg of my triangle. And then the opposite, which is on the other side of the triangle. Now the adjacent I'm not using. So I don't need that one. But here I'm using my opposite, which is the 30, and then the hypotenuse, which is the x. So the two sides that are labeled are the opposite and hypotenuse. So that means this one I'm going to use sine. So I need to tell my calculator the correct trig ratio to use. And this one is going to use the sine of 59 degrees is going to equal my opposite leg over my hypotenuse. So that would be 30 over x. So I'm writing that 30 over x as the opposite over hypotenuse. Our x ends up being in our denominator, so we're going to multiply the x over to the other side. So we'll get x sine 59 is equal to 30. And then now to get x alone, we'll divide by the sine of 59. and divide by the sine of 59. So now we have x would equal 30 divided by the sine of 59. So I'm going to head to my calculator. And clear that out. So we're going to have 30. Then I'm going to hit my divide button. And then I'm going to hit sine of 59, close off my parentheses, hit enter, and we end up getting 34.99, and this would end up rounding to the nearest 10, so the 9 has a 9 next to it, so ultimately it's going to round up to exactly 35. So we'll end up with 35.0 rounded to the nearest 10th. And... They'll also go through, and they have some other methods. You can use proportions, cross-multiply, and things. So you have um, some options of how you want to solve those. Our second teacher-led problem is finding angles. So what our calculator does is it saves all of the angles, and then it, it uh, tells us what ratio the two sides would make. Well, you also can tell your calculator what the ratio of your sides is. And then you can have your calculator will then tell you what the angle is. Now, those buttons are right above the sine, cosine, tangent. If you look, you have a little sine inverse, cosine inverse, tangent inverse. That's going to do the opposite, which is going to find an angle if we tell the calculator a ratio. So in this problem, we're going to go about it the same way. We're going to take and circle our angle and then find our, our three sides. So there's our hypotenuse, there's our adjacent, there's our opposite. Now this one uses adjacent and opposite, which is tangent. So now I'm going to take the tangent inverse of 
my opposite, which is 57, over my adjacent, which is 68. And then I'll head to my calculator. We'll hit second. Tangent inverse of 57 divided by 68. So a fraction is basically just a division. So we can take 57 divided by 68. We hit enter, and that would be a 39.97 degree angle, which again, I'm going to round that up. That's going to be a 40 degree angle. So the nearest tenth of a degree, but the 97 rounded me up exactly to 40.0. And there is going to be how we can find our angle measures. So hopefully that helps out with some review from, from geometry. But uh, you are now ready to work on the MCA review geometry, and you can go ahead and have a great day.